Hi, my name is Shamel Lamara, and I'm from Nome, Texas. Oh, oh, have mercy, have mercy, oh, have uh -huh. mercy. Hey, Chan. Have mercy, Lord. I remember counting my first million dollars. Most of the jobs I had, it's always been an issue with my appearance because of the way I dress and the way I look. So people would automatically judge me on, I wouldn't be able to do this job, I wouldn't be able to handle certain situations. And then when they see I can do those things, it's like, oh, let me see, see what else she can't do. Let me keep challenging her. And it's never been nothing that I couldn't do. I kind of want people to hear why you're, you're confident in yourself and you can speak it and not worry about Mm -hmm. Well, I'm confident in myself because I'm beautiful. I am a strong, powerful woman. I've been through so much in my life. You can talk about me. You can say what you want. People are going to talk about you whether you're doing good, whether you're doing bad. If you make it, if you're on your way to it, they're going to have a reason to talk about, oh, she did this to get there. Like, you don't know what goes on in the background. Like, you don't know what I had to do to get to where I'm, I'm at. Like, all the hard work, all the staying up late you know, doing everything I have to do to push for my career, but I'm not only pushing for myself, I'm pushing for my family too. Dollars, large wallets, yeah. shaped like an E-class. I think everyone knows your voice, but how come everyone doesn't know your voice is so angelic? It actually frustrates me, and you know, a lot of times I've broke down about it because I feel like, you know, I've been singing since the age of six in church, um, but I took it professionally in 2012, um, and I had a great investor that was behind me and I recorded all this great music and I just knew everything was just going to go great and um, he got in a car accident and he passed away. God rest his soul. So God rest his soul, but he, um, but I still continue to do my music even after that and was pushing that. Then I ran into, I've been through so so many managers, so much shit in this music industry, but yet all the trials and tribulations I've been through, I don't let any of it stop me. Like, I am now starting all over and I don't care because it's my dream and it's what I want to do. So I'm not going to let any of those stop me. If anything, it's making me stronger. So, and I'm, I'm very strong because I feel like a lot of things I've been through, I don't think that some people can really go through it. Like, I laugh about it because it has made me cry. I was about to say, it's almost like a nervous laugh. Yeah, like, it has made me cry. I have broke down, like, but after I cry about it, I get up and I pray and I pray while I'm crying and I keep it moving. I love modeling. I love acting, but my number one thing that I enjoy doing and what I really want to do is my music because I love singing and that's what I enjoy. When did you realize that your voice was special? Um, I was six years old and I was singing <laughs> in church. And so now I have this uh, song that they have me always sing, Oh Sweet Jesus, all the time. <laughs> in church, it's like my song too. I'm not familiar with that. Can you sing that? But, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like, ooh, I remember the times when I felt so alone. Ooh, when I needed you, Jesus, all I had to do was call. Ooh, sometimes in the morning, ooh, sometimes late at night. Ooh, when I get off my knees, Jesus, everything is alright. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, my mountain mover, Jesus, my lily of the valley, every day, your name is the same. Let me ask you this. It's a real. I want you to answer this as real as you can. Okay. Okay. No, no bullshit. No bullshit. No. Okay. No bullshit. <laughs> um, if you had these two choices, mm -hmm. the option of being the most talented vocalist, right, singer, right, slash writer ever, <laughs> but you were ugly, mm -hmm. or 
the most gorgeous woman ever, but no real talent. Knowing what you know, which would you choose? The gorgeous woman. Some people have different opinions on how people look, but based off their appearance, they may not get it because of how they look, but they may have an amazing voice. Like, there's a lot of singers and rappers out there that don't look the part, but they sound better than some of these celebrities that are out. Point blank, period. They, they look at women. I know there's a lot of heavy set women and a lot of heavy set men. They can sing they ass off. I ain't talking about sing, sing. They can blow. But they're not making it because of how they look. And I just feel like, like that's crazy. Like the world shouldn't be like that. Don't judge people off their appearance. But for somebody that can't sing, but they look good, they seem to always have gone, gone way farther. Uh, I do want to fast forward five years. From now. Right, you're still young though. Where is Shamoon Lamar? What is she doing? And what has she accomplished? <laughs> okay, five years from now, um, I'm successful with my music industry. I have other businesses that I have opened that are very successful. I don't know what they are now, but God is gonna lead me in that direction and I'm gonna be successful with it. Um, I hope to be married with a twins. I want twins. I love children. I have five called children. My first job was at a daycare, so Shout even out. when I left. Shout out to King. <laughs> Shout out to King. My baby King. My baby London. My baby Miko. And I have Kira. What else was I asking? <laughs> no, that's it. Thank you for coming through. I know you always thank me, but yeah. trust me, you're, you're, you're doing more for me than well, I'm doing for you. <laughs> thank you for having me. You know, I appreciate you and your work and everything that we've done over the years. Now, you guys, me and Corey have worked together, was it four or five years? Four or five years. Yeah. Yes, and he is amazing, and his work improves more and more every day. I was like, you got all these lights. <laughs> you got these cameras, look at all this stuff you got behind the scenes coming on up in the world. <laughs> so I'm so proud of him, you guys, and you just never know where God is gonna take him because he's opening up many doors for all of us, so I'm just, so excited and I can't wait to see where God is going to take us all in 2018 and I wish everybody nothing but success, prosperity, love, and get that shmoney, <laughs> shmoney. <laughs> like you love me.